This weird shoebox looking thing saved countless lives. It's called the Rhino. So this little system caused a lot of chaos for US military members. And what this is right here is an infrared detector. So you would be driving down the road with your vehicle and all of a sudden your engine gets taken out from an IED. This is because those infrared sensors are detecting the engine of your vehicle because it's the hot spot of your vehicle and it was a massive problem for soldiers and military members. So you have the Rhino and the Rhino is really simple. You just take a long pole, put a hot box on the end of it and it makes sense because the infrared is going to strike that with the IED and not the engine bay. And this is one of my favorite pictures in military history because we actually have a homemade rhino where they would take a metal pole and they would put hot coals or something hot in the ammo can, stick it in front of your vehicle, and that was the original rhino. But the rhino at one point stopped working. As you can see here, there's a rhino on this vehicle, but the rhino didn't get hit. The vehicle got hit, so what was happening? Well, IED makers just put a little delay on their system, thus this was useless, but then the Rhino just extended their pole a little bit longer and that delay system didn't work anymore. Nowadays, you don't really deal with the infrared ignition system. You mostly deal with radio waves or you would deal with Wi-Fi to ignite an IED. Again, that's why you don't see the Rhino too much anymore.